After a spring season in Shreveport, the Bayou Classic is back where it belongs. Thanksgiving Saturday in New Orleans. And the Crescent City hasn't forgotten how to throw a party. The Bayou Classic, known for its festivities as much as its fantastic football tradition. And everything is back in grand style. The food, the fans, the bands, and of course, Grambling and Southern. The Jaguars prowling for their fourth straight win in the series, longest since 2000. Grambling. They're looking to reverse the trend with an interim coach who's familiar with both sides of the rivalry. The 48th annual Bayou Classic is back in this Caesar Superdome. Second down and eight. And a big crease for Elijah Walker, the quarterback on the keeper down the far sideline into Southern Territory. The biggest play so far for Grambling as they move for 36. This is where I think, especially last season, Grambling State wasn't as effective just in making sure they were utilizing the mobility of Elijah Walker. And you talked about having Daryl Clark, DJ Clark coming in motion there. The defense bit on that. And then I referenced the electricity that's available to Grambling State. It's not only CJ Russell, Elijah Walker can make the move, make the change move as well. Jumped on that Southern defensive side. It's a keeper, Elijah Walker. His legs have been a factor on this drive. And you movement. can tell the Bayou Classic means something for both these teams. Look at that pile. Elijah Walker keeping it alive and picking up 11. With Russell, the running back, Walker keeps it, slithers through, and looks like he's in. He is in. Touchdown, Grambling. Coming into this game, certainly wouldn't anticipate the advantage on the line of scrimmage would go to the offensive line of Grambling State. But they've made the biggest impact, the imprint that's necessary on this game for the Tigers to be able to withstand the onslaught that can come on the line of scrimmage from the Southern Jaguars. Third down, big hole for Devon Ben. Ben to the edge, Ben to the end zone. Touchdown, Southern, Devon Ben. has been able to follow multiple lead blockers getting behind Brian Williams and also getting out to the edge to Tyree Carter who we highlighted earlier in the broadcast in open space from there and be coming off that edge third down and eight Walker flush to his right tucks and runs and has the first down and more dives towards the 20. Elijah Walker zooming down the field Ramblings used four quarterbacks this year Third down and three, Clark patient, accelerates, jumps through the initial line. It's a foot race for Alden Clark. Clark is caught inside the 20. The folks are accustomed to seeing Deuce McAllister, how he used to show that patience in the hole here in New Orleans during his Saints career. Alden Clark, very similar presence of mind in the hole, leaping over one of his teammates. Like roadkill there in the hole, Alden Clark off to the races. For Grambling, they all come. Skelton sees the rush, nearly escapes the rush, does escape the rush, keeps the feet moving. Ladarius Skelton, how did he do? Houdini's his way for a first down to the 35. What a 21 yard run. The physicality, the durability of Ladarius Skelton. Outstanding pass rush move into the backfield. Javon Carter right there misses Skelton yet again as has happened several times. And then from there, it's tuck and run at time for Skelton out into the open field. Letting the clock wind down, playing the clock management game. Great pivot by Walker, sets his feet. Launches deep, going up top, Greg White. Well done. With Jordan Lewis, he didn't come unblocked. He just got into the backfield too quickly where it looked like no one was responsible for him. But that reverse pivot that you referenced, Chris, outstanding presence of mind, rise and grind from Greg White. Meanwhile, it doesn't take long for Southern to get inside Grambling territory. And here's an end around flea flicker. It goes back to Skelton launching deep. It's intercepted. Picked off by Devin Air Martin. But here, off the flea flicker, they pitch it into the backfield, double reverse, but it took a little too long to develop. Second and 15. 
Flat pattern, not to Skelton, catches his own pass. And Skelton has wheels. How about this? The quarterback catches his pass and gets first down yardage or close to it. Montano ran him out. How about that? Absolutely incredible. I mean, not only the fact that the ball caroms anywhere near Ladarius Skelton, but then the presence of mind to pluck it out of the air and immediately turn into a ball carrier, cut it back against the grain. Obvious situation where Skelton can call his own number. Fakes it. Skelton on the run. Throws to the flat. Ethan Howard gallops in. Touchdown, Southern. Ethan Howard was a first team all swag selection as a freshman. So fast in the open field. Bring him all the way across the formation post snap. Nice, easy little teardrop from the three time MVP. Early on fourth quarter, quick snap. Elijah Walker, patient running, letting his block set up as the outside, first down and more. Two receivers in front blocking, including DJ Clark. Great block. And Walker is finally upended outside the 30. The vision to cut it back door and then turn the corner, switches the football, and you reference DJ Clark streaking down the field to pick up extra blocks for his quarterback, Elijah Walker. Obey Ross also running. The Grambling would rather pick up a first down. Southern rushes four on third and 13. Walker sets his feet, post pattern, end zone. And is caught for a score. Greg White makes up for the drop by going up top and hauling in his third of the year. Grambling State takes the lead. Greg White was known for this even in the time he was at North Texas before transferring to Grambling State, the acrobatic grab. Willingness to put his body in harm's way. The accuracy of this pass from Elijah Walker couldn't have gone out and handed it to him any better. Southern with a three game winning streak at the Bayou Classic. Skelton, the throwback screen. Ethan Howard with plenty of room. Needs to escape a tackle. It does. Spins ahead. Marks the middle of the field. Zigzags to the 10. Dives ahead. Touchdown, Southern. Ethan Howard, 39 hard on yards. So there's the knee down. Might have to piece a couple angles together from the officiating crew to determine whether Ethan Howard's touchdown will count or Southern gets the ball at the one. After review, it was determined that the ball carrier was down at the one yard line. It'll be Southern's ball, first and goal. Skelton's a powerful runner, a redshirt senior from Pine Bluff, Arkansas. The three-time MVP of the Bayou Classic ties it at 26. Another great block there on the second level from Jatari Carter. Jonathan Bishop pulling around. They are so effective at the guard position, clearing lanes. Of course, a big threat on the ground. This extra point is big, and this extra point is missed. Luke Jackson is wide, and the game remains tied. Walker wants to slant. It is caught. Craig White, first down Grambling. The junior from Atlanta who had the touchdown on the last drive from 20 yards out, 13 yards on that catch. That is a big time throw and catch under duress in the pocket. Jordan Lewis was getting home, coming off the edge. Elijah Walker stood and delivered the ball to his big play wide out. <laughs> Garrett Urban from 25 to get Grambling the late lead. Snap, kick, up, and through with two seconds left. Micah Torres Whitmer, the long snapper, Devonair Martin, the holder, and Garrett Urban delivers the bow and arrow to give Grambling the 29-26 lead. Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.